I can't believe we're almost done. We, we only have one more performance, not perform, well, one more performance that's coming up, and then one more presentation, and that's it. And then we're on our way back to Hopi. So we're not really worrying. We want to be Hopi, right? <laughs> like Ed said, don't worry, be Hopi. But it's, it's something that we, we also cherish as Hopis. Humor is a really big part of our, our lifestyle. So in, even in our ceremonies, we have our own clowns in, in, during our dances. And the clowns actually tell a story about all of us. So the clowns are always misbehaving in some form or fashion. And they're usually picked on, it's usually a, a characterization of what we're doing. So in other words, there was one, one thing that, and remember this is all happening in a plaza. It's not rehearsed or anything. It's, uh, they're just doing it. And maybe just a couple of things that they'll say to each other and then they go through the whole thing. So one of the things that they always portray is uh, families arguing or you know calling each other's names or gossiping. Those always come into play and they'll actually, I remember this one time they were sitting, um, all the clowns got in the middle of the uh, plaza and they were all, facing one direction first, and then they were looking around and in the audience, because there's a lot of people watching the dance. They said, oh, there's so-and-so. Remember he did this and that? And people would just laugh, and you know, because they, and, and they carry on, and they turn around, and they face another direction, and say, oh, yeah, there's my sister. She's always doing this and that. And they'll, they're kind of criticizing, and everybody's laugh. But that's a good way of just basically saying, yeah, we all make mistakes. We Sometimes they're not so good, but it, if you laugh about it, then you don't really want to worry about it. That's kind of how this song came up. Don't worry, be hopey, because we don't want to talk about tragedies and all those kind of things all the time, <laughs> because there's so much of it right now. So this next dance <clears throat> is really, really, truly, truly hopey. And this is the dance that's not performed all the time. It's a rare dance because it really, one, one thing is there's a lot of work that goes into this dance, and you'll see. And there's a lot of preparation even before the dance. <clears throat> and as I mentioned earlier, we have a ceremonial cycle. And this dance is actually done in the wintertime for prayer for snow because we want the snow to come to come and be on our field so it'll be moist when, we, when springtime comes. And also, this is also a dance where when the girl dances, they can't have a child. So there are still young ladies, young girls. That's why this is also another special dance. So we're going to perform that for you. And this is our last performance. And I hope you enjoy it.
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm more out of breath than he is. <laughs> if you want to take pictures, you can do so right now. We'll give you a few minutes to do so. So take this opportunity if you want to take some pictures. You might want to move up a little closer to the edge. Seriously, you guys, everyone, you can come up. We, they were mobbed outside before. So it's easier if you just come up and speak to them and you can take pictures in here. This right, is the last right. performance, so. Right, right, this is it for us. We're all family at this point. Right, and we're, like she said, we're all family at this point. And if you want your, whoever wants to take picture with them, that's fine too. Uh, your kids, grandkids, that's, uh, that's also okay. This is a very, very uh, spiritual dance for Hopi. It's a very special dance for us. And so we really, really wanted to finish strong on this trip. So this is our encore, and we wanted to do that for you, for all of you. So thank you so much for coming. And I wanted to also mention too. Can I yeah. Right. Folks, just so you know, we want you to take pictures, but we only have about ten minutes to okay. do this because then we have another program. So seriously, yeah. if you want to take a picture? Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. I'll just go over a little bit about what this dance means to us. This is usually dance in the, in the winter time. And one thing I wanted to say about our dances, which I didn't explain before, but in Hopi, we don't have such thing as a cancellation or a postponement. Because spiritually, when the sun comes up, you don't know what kind of day you're gonna have, but you're gonna accept it and you're gonna believe in it and, and with all the prayers, we will have a good ending. That's our belief. So as you notice, these dancers are wearing no shoes. And if there's snow on the ground and Hopi and the plaza is cleared somewhat, but it's still gonna be cold. And again, we're not gonna cancel the dance because we have to finish it because that's how it's done. So in Hopi, there's no such thing as a cancellation. It could be windy, it could be raining, and no matter what dance is it, that's how things go through. So uh, do you have any other questions that you you're welcome to ask it? So, okay. Uh, so, kwa kwa, kwa kwa. Hello everyone. Um no kya ta mayan ma chwa no drew the mic to ayan pahan ma chwa no people want no hot vela anko Hello everyone. My name is Rising Sun and translation to my Hopi name. Um my name is Drew the mic to um I just wanted to say I'm very thankful for being here and showing our culture and me being this young I love what I do. I love to sing. I'll wake up in the morning every day and I'll be singing the song, whether it be from my dream or it be from the last day. Um, I, love, I love doing this stuff. This is who I am as a person. And I don't, do not only represent just Hopi, but I represent everybody around the world, Native Americans. We're strong people and I tend to want to keep it like that forever and hold on to our traditions and be Hungvi with our with our culture and we're very fortunate to have this as part of our culture and it's a lot of work being Hopi. It's not easy. Um, all of this is um, majority of the feathers are, are all of the feathers are mine. The headdress is mine. Um, the headdress is actually um, a replica of the one my grandfather has has. Um, I didn't want to bring his because his are more valuable than mine. <laughs> They're my grandpa's. Um, so I brought my my own to show to show you guys this this dance and like my grandpa here is my grandpa. <laughs> it's my grandma's brother. Uh, <laughs> um, the the headdress, there's variety, there's there's all kinds of them. And the people that make them are they they see their own own way of how they represent the sky and the clouds, the colors of the earth and the, 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 the rays of the sun. And that's all that's in pictured on there, the snow and clouds. And 
But I hope you guys all enjoyed it and you can take it home with you and remember this. <laughs> you guys all have a nice evening. So Gratai is actually my grandson. So uh, really proud of him for what he does. And I just, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. The what? Oh, the, the foxtail. It's just, uh, in Hopi, we, we, uh, we care for all animals, all living things. So part of our dress, the foxtail is the resemblance of the fox being also very special. So those are used in a lot of ceremonies. In fact, most ceremonies. And just as you see with the eagle feathers, <clears throat> and all that. There's a time for gathering eagles, so that's usually in the summertime. And they, they get the eagles. The, the Hopis have special places that, are, that belong to the clans, and so when they gather the eagles, they'll raise them as young ones, and then during the, what we call the Niman Tikive, which is the last dance of the Kachina dance, those eagles now becoming full-grown eagles will all be receiving gifts. And then once they're fully grown, then it, there's a special ceremony for them. So they're put to rest just like a human being. And they're given offerings after all the feathers are taken off. So those feathers are not just used for dancing. They're also used for prayer feathers, and our, the, those are the prayers that we have that carry our message to the ones above, underneath us, all around us. So the, yeah, that's just another way that we respect, uh, even though some people say, well, you shouldn't be doing that, but that's our belief. That's our tradition. Remember, we're, we were here 400, in 400 BC, so we, we can't give it up, right? <laughs> Sure. So a lot of uh, all of our dances are prayers for rain. That's foremost is the prayer. The second part is for good life. The third part is good harvest. The fourth part is peace all around the world. Unangvasi is a heart, that something that comes from the heart and soul. So you'll hear that in the songs. All the songs have words like rain, clouds, and when they're motioning, that's what they're motioning for. So all those prayers are for that. And this, these dances, are, are very energetic so that our people will be happy and energized. When you see these dances, we hope that you are energized from this dance and we also pray for you to have a long life getting that energy from this dance. And also you will continue to pray for all living things wherever, whoever there is, whoever it is that's out there for all around the world. The Hopis were actually charged with the responsibility of being caretakers for the universe, for the land, and all living things. And so it's, um, well, I don't want to say, but anyway, ironically, you know, we're, we're, we're reduced to a small number. But these are things that people don't really know unless we tell our history. So now we're telling it, and it's, it's, it's taken this long to really, really, truly tell our story. And we want to, on, on that note, I want to thank the uh, Smithsonian, the Native American Museum, for doing that because a lot of you probably don't even know that we exist, right? I mean, that's, I'm not saying that in a, in a bad way, but it is true because we're, we're not in the limelight for everything. And so you see a lot of, lot of other tribal, I mean, you hear about powwows and things like that, but you don't really hear about the Hopi dances. So that's why we wanted to come here and show you what we're all about. So this is it. So there's a lot more dances that go on at Hopi. Uh, no. <laughs> so, yeah.
Yeah, so anyway, it, anything else that anybody wants to ask? Yeah, yeah, right. Thank you. Quack, 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 quack.